So you might not expect it, but the number one thing we need in the orchard behind me is broadband. And without it, the scale to this size just isn't possible. Each season over a six week period, we harvest approximately 50 million cherries. So the journey of each cherry is hand harvested off the orchard. It goes into a bucket which has a QR code on every single bucket. That's for traceability. So once the cherries reach the pack house, the optical sorter takes center stage. That is a 10 lane machine that can grade up to 400,000 cherries per hour. It takes 78 photos of every single cherry. It does it in infrared and color and that determines our grade standard and our size and whether or not it meets those, those criteria. So the amount of data we use is intensive. There's 78 photos of every cherry with 20 megabytes per photo. And it's equivalent to about just over 600 terabytes an hour of data. High speed, low latency is important because we process in real time. So having the reliable fiber connection is crucial for driving all of this. So the fibre access network started out as, uh, as very much a residential connectivity um, here in New Zealand. Uh, we've now evolved the technology where the capacities are now reaching throughputs of 25 gig, making it increasingly relevant for industry, which includes um, agriculture, manufacturing, as well as energy. Fibre as an access technology is the greenest, uh, the fastest, uh, and the most reliable technology that we have. Data usage has been growing rapidly amongst our customer base on fibre, and so that means our big focus we have is really driving more capacity and faster speeds for customers who are demanding more year on year. And this is where fibre and multi-gig fibre comes in, enabling all those new use cases uh, to drive more efficiency, more productivity, and more traceability in the end-to-end the -end cherry train. So since we've implemented the fibre broadband and the optical sorting, we've improved efficiencies, we can process quicker. It's fantastic to see the vision that Reese has for, for Cherry Corp and the transformation uh, to digital operations and cloud native processing. And that's where the 25 gig pond is really gonna come into its own, providing that high capacity and low latency connection that they'll need. So in the future, the ambition is to become virtualized. Um, software as a service through the cloud rather than on-prem servers. That will allow us to be dynamic. The next idea is with enough bandwidth, we could have live footage of the actual cherries being packed. Customers want to see real time what's being packed out and what's coming their way in terms of grade standards. It would save us a lot of work um, if customers can critique their fruit before it arrives in the markets. If we keep evolving the way we are, uh, it's pretty exciting that we'll go from harvesting 55 million cherries each season to over 150 million.